Welcome to the next section, working with files, streams, and serialization. Now we move on to the first video, creating and extracting zip archives. One of the most basic things you can do is work with zip files. You might need to provide zip functionality in an application that needs to upload several files to a network share. Being able to zip several files and upload a single zip file makes more sense than having to upload several smaller files. First, we create a console application. Call it Files Example and save it in the appropriate folder. Next, we right-click on the References node and select Add Reference from the context menu. In the Reference Manager, we search for the word Compression. Add a reference to system.io.compression and system.io.compression.filesystem to your project and click on the OK button. Once these references get added, our solution looks like this. Create a folder with some files. Here we have already created a folder named Documents and it has three files. Add these namespaces on top of our program.cs file. Then inside the program class, I add this code. Here I have created a method called zipit and this is used to zip the documents directory. The code is pretty straightforward to understand. I want to, however, highlight the use of the create from directory method. Notice that we have set the compression level to compression level dot optimal and set the include base directory parameter to false. Then in the main method, I add these two lines of code. Here I declare the path and then use zip it method. When we run the code, you will see that a zip file has been created. Viewing the contents of the zip file will display the files contained in the documents folder that we saw earlier. If we view the properties of this zip file, you will see that it has been compressed to 795 bytes. Extracting a zip file is also very easy to do. So inside the program class, I just add the code. Here I have created a method called unzip it and pass the path to the temp folder to it. Then specify the directory to unzip the files to and set the variable called destination directory. Here I call the extract to directory method and pass it the archive name and destination directory variables as parameters. Post that inside the main method, I add this code to set the path and also used the unzip method. Let's run the code. Now we get to see that the files are unzipped. Viewing the extracted files in the documents unzipped folder, you will see the original files we started off with. 